हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर शौकत मीर फ्राम फैकल्टी ऑफ फार्मेसी हमदाद यूनिवर्सिटी डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मॉड्यूल हर्बल ड्रग फॉर्मुलेशन डेवलपमेंट एंड रिसेंट एडवांसिस फ्राम पेपर नॉवल ड्रग डिलीवरी सिस्टम पार्ट टू सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्राम दिस मॉड्यूल as we understand like first thing will be that we have to understand certain terms that are involved in this module so that start with phytotherapy so what are the various terms related to the concept of phytotherapy the practice of phytotherapy the phytomedicines and pharmaceuticals they we will try to learn those number 2 we will also try to learn about the herbal formulations what are herbal formulations in actual sense as well as what are different types of herbal formulations that are available today the third one we will also go into the details of recent advances so what are the recent trends related to herbal formulations like novel drug delivery systems nano drug delivery systems as well as we will also quickly go into the details of phyto equivalence let's get us let's get started with the herbal formulations as we understand that these herbal formulations they essentially contain plants or their parts or their extracts as active ingredients of various formulations so what makes a drug into a medicine is that it is compounded with it is mixed with certain excipients so as to make a safe effective and uniform composition medicinal product so these plant based herbal formulations are the topic of the today besides this we should also understand that most of the times these herbal formulations they are multi component systems they have active ingredients in the forms of herbal parts as such or herbal extracts or combination of these components means extracts as well as components so that they affect the overall performance of the drug as we also understand that there are various uh operations that go into the preparation of herbal formulations i hope you are you understand the processes like grinding which is reduction in size there are also processes soaking which is you dip the substance for some time into an solvent there are other relevant processes like dripping where you go for a continuous process of uh getting the solvent uh dripped onto the sample there are other conventional extraction methods like infusion which is extraction with uh cold liquids water particularly decoction is another method where you go for the extraction with hot water maceration per percolation or other two methods where you go for extraction of drugs with solvents either in continuous or in batch to batch operation the other operations involved in the preparation of herbal drugs are distillation you may also need to express which is pressing the substances for the extraction of uh, drugs fractionation purification concentration or even fermentation may be involved so herbs trees shrubs mushroom or even algae fungi and lichens they make herbal formulations they are involved in herbal formulations let me also remind you that they can be used in the form of dried preserved or even in fresh form let us now discuss the terms and concepts related to herbal formulations number 1 is phytotherapy 
it is the practice of using plants parts and their preparations for the prevention and treatment of diseases it combines the best of science medicine and nature into a personalized health care so phytotherapy actually is much more scientific and in line with the modern rules and tenets of medicine the next term is phytomedicine these constitute traditional medical practices of the use of plant based materials as holistic natural remedies so phytomedicine sometimes they are referred as phytopharmaceuticals but let us understand this difference that phytomedicine as such they are mostly referred as traditional medical practices for the preventive or therapeutic use of plants by natural healers it is an holistic system of treatment of diseases number 3 is what are herbal drug formulations so these consist of herbs in specified portions and form that provide nutritional cosmetic preventive therapeutic or diagnostic modalities for humans or animals or that affect the physiology of humans and animals let me also give you one more term which is phytopharmaceuticals this is currently being used in many ways but let's consider this uh, as an relevant term to our topic so phytopharmaceuticals consist of potent quick action isolated compounds or groups of compounds that are obtained from plants and formulated into medicines if we go into the stricter sense so phytopharmaceutically pharmaceuticals actually do not qualify for herbal drug formulations let's now discuss the history of phytotherapy the history of uh, classical herbal medicines it spans more than 2000 years from ancient texts it is clear that many types of herbal pre- pre- preparations such as ointments teas and alcoholic extracts have been used from time immemorial for many ailments ranging from healing of war wounds to menstrual irregularities roman physician galen made significant contributions in this field and wrote exhaustively about preparations like pessaries poultices garlics gargles ointments oils etc in his respect these preparations are still named after him as galenicals other common formulations are powders infusions decoctions syrups pills tablets granules tinctures fermented preparations oils and elixirs etc that we use or see in day to day life today even many of those preparations available in both traditional and conventional systems are direct descendants from the ancient uh, sources and forms of medical herbal preparations let's now go to the details of some of those herbal preparations that uh, that are involved in herbal therapy or phytotherapy so first as we understand that that these herbal preparations are in powder form most of the time we use various powders which are the first category of herbal formulations which are called as unextracted herb herbal forms so they include powders either single or in combination so they may be the powders of fresh plants or dried preserved plants besides these the other prevalent form of herbal preparations are galenicals which are extracts we let me go into a little bit detail of this particular formulation galenicals actually refer to the great scientist physician galen 
who introduced this concept of preparing extracts using water later it was found that it can also be done with the help of alcohol so in his respect we refer these herbal preparations as galenicals so we have already discussed one form which is powder form unextracted herbal forms number two is galenicals so in galenicals extracts with water alcohol or water and alcohol they are used for the preparation of herbal you know, formulations the third form goes like concentrated or selective extracts we usually know this uh, when we get the oil extracted from plants or uh, from uh, plant parts so selective extracts is a concept where the extracts are prepared for the formulation for as herbal formulations for uh, where, where, with the help of certain solvents let me give you an example we usually extract oils particularly volatile oils by using hexane or petroleum ether so this hexane and petroleum ether has a specific quality of selectively extracting the oil from the substance so the oils that we get they are a good example of concentrated or selective extracts so there is other example of like if we particularly get a resin rich extract by using certain specific solvents we say that it is a concentrated selective extract so there is an associated concept now coming into it which is standardized extracts so these are the extracts where we exactly know the content of a group of substances or few chosen markers number four is tinctures and medicinal oils so as we have discussed earlier that we use various types of liquids that are produced by extraction process and that extraction process is mainly uh, assisted by is done by extracts like water or alcohol so tinctures represent a particular type of extracts which are extracted either solely with alcohol or a combination of alcohol and water in the same way we have medicinal oils where we have these volatile oils mixed with or the oils mixed with some of those fats and waxes for formulation so tinctures are alcohol or hydroalcoholic preparations prepared from herbs either fresh or dried so they are less in intensity by meaning less in intensity i mean to say that they are dilute preparations and medicinal oils as i told you again uh, as i told you already that these are substances where you mix or you dissolve oil in uh, fixed oils and waxes the other forms there are a varied number of other forms of herbal preparations as you understand like we have preparations like pills capsules syrups now available besides plant juices granules pessaries etc so there is a wide variety of forms that are available uh, with respect to herbal formulations ranging from unextracted powders which are represented by powders or in the form of fixed dosage forms like tablets and capsules or dosage forms with flexibility of uh, you, you, what you can say flexibility of uh, dispensing is that of like uh, syrups uh, juices plant juices or even tinctures and oils we also have now the concept of uh, uh, modern uh, these uh, when the modern concepts of formulations are available or applied to herbal drug formulations which we will discuss when we go to the recent advances in herbal formulations
here are the different forms of herbal formulations so we can see that herbal formulations they are an array there is a variety of forms that in which they can be present they can be present right at the top like tablets and pills it can be capsules or soft gels infusions or decoctions powders tinctures granules or they can even be for topical use or for which are topical preparations they can be medicinal oils and separates nowadays we are also talking about the standardized extracts which can be in which are fluid extracts powdered extracts or specifically uh, phytochemically specific extracts there also have been a large uh, a very uh, old history related to the use of fermented products so all these make uh, the various forms of herbal formulations this is not an exhaustive list there can be other uh, forms of herbal uh, formulations which are not mentioned here this is a list of various herbal preparations so we can see that these herbal preparations like number one to five they are mostly liquid base or liquid uh, dosage forms while as six to nine they are solid uh, dosage forms so this is a classification of various plant-based uh, herbal uh, products so they range from extracts plant juices tinctures medicinal oils and spirits syrups powders, granules and pills, tablets and capsules. Again to mention that this is not an exhaustive list, there can be few more examples or additions to this list. Here I want to add that the liquid extracts, they as shown in uh, from number one to five, they are easy to be formed, they, produce, they provide chemical spectrum to be uh, presented to the uh, patient they also have the flexibility of dosage the only concern with liquid drugs is liquid dosage forms is maybe their taste may not be good uh, as well as uh, their volume while as the number six to nine forms powders to capsules they represent solid forms they need least uh, storage of uh, plant uh, liquids or these plant products so they have the fairly uh, ease of usage storage transport and uh, even compounding if needed so let's go into the details of extracts extracts are concentrated preparations produced from dried crude drugs by employing different extraction methods they can be further classified as number one infusions and decoctions infusions as we understand they are prepared by soaking drugs in cold water while as decoctions they are prepared by soaking drugs in hot water for a very short period of time of about five to ten minutes they are useful when the active components of herbal drugs are water soluble such as polysaccharides mucilages or glycosides although these two forms of extracts are age old with respect to their use in herbal drug delivery the overall yield to both these processes is very low as water is not a good solvent besides the short extraction time the dose is usually uh, large and the taste also is unpleasant. So these are some of those limitations and characteristics of infusion, the first class of first uh, type of extracts. The next type of extracts are galenicals or whole extracts. These are prepared as per the traditional methods mentioned in various pharmacopoeias and formularies. Here the drug is extracted with solvents, preferably a mixture of a mixture of uh, water and alcohol by processes, both maceration or percolation. So both the processes, maceration or percolation, can be used for the preparation of galenicals, and 
they are extracted with either water or alcohol or in a mixture of water alcohol their strength is mentioned as the ratio of the weight of the starting dry material to the weight of the volume of the extracted material on weight on weight basis these are also termed as whole extracts as they represent the chemical complete chemical composition of the plant so galenicals as i have already earlier uh, earlier mentioned that they are in respect they are uh, they are known as galenicals in respect of the great physician galen third type of extracts are standardized extracts the standardized extracts are galenicals that have been concentrated or dried to attain a fixed level of content or marker compounds they are further of three sub types either fluid extracts which are liquid preparations which are uh, which contain one to one your ratio of extracted material to dried herbs so they are known as fluid extracts number second is highly concentrated extracts which are prepared by by concentrating the galenicals by evaporation or spray drying so that the product is soft viscous mass with a strength of 13 to 1 or in the form of dried powder with a strength of 16 to 1 so these are usually made for the pharmaceutical convenience so which is that we want to make smaller capsules smaller tablets with higher drug content and to deliver higher doses third sub type of standardized extracts are selective phytochemical extracts which are prepared by extracting the substances with a specific group of for a specific group of components like oils curcumin etc using distillation or extraction processes containing using using solvents like water and ethanol or in some in certain cases hexane after discussing various types of extracts now we move on to plant juices these are the extracts or uh, products from freshly harvested plant parts when they are macerated in cold water and they and pressed to prepare fruit uh, plant juices they are usually preserved by pasteurization or by flash heating or by addition of preservatives juices contain low potency of water soluble components and usually are available as otc products number third type of herbal formulations are tinctures and related powders as we understand that alcohol has been used as an as a solvent medium for preparation of herbal drugs from very ancient times so these tinctures they are either alcoholic or hydroalcoholic solutions of plants which are prepared mainly by macerations but they can also be prepared by percolation their strengths they are low in strength may, may, which means that their strength is less than fluid extracts so they are either 1 to 3 or 1 to 5 or even weaker with respect to their strength so the other related products are if we replace alcohol with glycerol the products are known as glycerides there also has been an increasing trend of using propylene glycol which is a synthetic clear colorless liquid used for the extraction of lipophilic constituents from the plants fourth category of herbal formulations are medicinal oils and spirits medicinal oils are the substances where well these oils or herbal drugs they are mixed with waxes and fixed oils to prepare medicinal oils they are used both for internal and topical applications they are prepared by the process of maceration or by dissolving volatile oil in wax coming to the medicinal spirits these are solutions of volatile oils in alcohol and or in water alcohol mixtures these are prepared either by dissolving volatile oil in alcohol or by distillation in alcohol the fifth category is that of uh, syrups syrups as we know are viscous preparations that contain more than 50% about 
60 to 65 percent of sucrose these are intended for oral use the high content of sucrose increases the shelf life and palatability of these products in which syrups are included these are used also as flavoring agents particularly for pediatric preparations the concept of syrups it was known to arab healers since ages and has been uh, adopted in modern system and european medicine during early middle ages the sixth form of herbal medicines are powders as we understand that powders is a very prevalent form of herbal medicines powders constitute the most basic form of herbal formulations they are either single component or sometimes even mixtures they are packed in dry multi dose containers or in sometimes in single dose sachets and bags so powders are recommended for formulations of mucilage and tannin containing drugs so powders actually offer themselves for uh, offer chemi complete chemical composition for slow release to the patients they may also include powdered extracts but the powdered extracts which are solid extracts they are much more potent but are susceptible to deterioration to light heat and moisture as they are not protected by the plant matrix the number seven form of plant herbal preparations are granules and pills in granules the powder is aggregated with binders and formulated into smaller beads which are known as granules granules can be further punched into tablets relatively bigger size aggregates are known as pills various materials that are used for uh, making uh, for uh, as binders are gelatin methyl cellulose acacia povidone simple syrup lactose sucrose etc the eighth form of herbal formulations are tablets tablets are fixed dose formulations prepared from powdered herbal material or extracts by compression method several excipients are included for formulating herbal drugs into tablets such as diluents binders lubricants colorants flavorants etc these are able to provide low dose of therapeutic substances due to size limitations so size is a limitation for tablets however they embody they have a fair ease of usage dispensing transport and storage sometimes the tablets are coated with sugar dyes wax fat lac lac or different polymers to impart different attributes to this form of formulation and the last form but not the least is capsules these are preparations where the herbal powders granules extracts oils or juices are placed inside soft gelatin or hard gelatin capsules so they are made up of gelatin sometimes liquid drugs like oils and extracts can also be encapsulated in the form of droplets as micro capsules these have same advantages as that of tablets and suffer the limitation of size at the most 300 to 600 ml of drug can be formulated in a capsule let's now discuss about the recent advances in formula herbal formulations quite recently a concept of phytochemical equivalence has emerged so it was actually developed by germans which are much more advanced in phytotherapy the concept of phytochemical equivalence relates to phytochemical comparison of herbal formulations so it highlights the significance of the study of complete chemical composition of a formulation rather than study of few chosen marker compounds actually the difficulty of choosing few is that these can be added to the product and thus can lead to a false positive result
during analysis. Thus, phytochemical equivalents actually talk about the overall spectrum, chemical spectrum of herbal formulations rather than few markers. The concept also takes into account the level of blood or serum concentrations achieved for active markers by an herbal formulation under test against the established reference formulation of known composition and action. Continuing with the recent developments in herbal formulation, let me now give you the details of some of those formulation dosage forms that are applied in herbal drug formulation. So recently some of those formulations related to which are on the nano scale referred as nano medicines or nano formulations have been formulated for a large number of herbal extracts or actives. So the figure on the left hand side shows a small nano emulsion. So it shows a system where an oil uh, lipophilic substance has been reduced in size as nano emulsion for its better formulation attributes. While as the figure on the right hand side shows a comparison between liposome and phytosome. So phytosomes, these are substance, these are formul formulation uh, where the plants extracts, they are formulated in a way so that they become much more lipophilic. We understand that these plant extracts, they are usually lipophobic and water loving, which is hydrophilic. So this limits their solubility and availability in human system. So in order to increase its bioavailability, it has been incorporated in phosphatidyl uh, as a complex of phosphatidyl drug complex and then it is uh, formulated into a novel drug delivery system called phytosome. It is a patenting technology and in figure it has been compared to liposomes. So some of those liposomes have also been formulated besides other forms of no uh, novel drug delivery system and nanomedicines. So students, let's summarize what we have learned from this module. We have tried to understand the concept and practice of phytotherapy first. Then we have also understood some of those forms of herbal medicines along with their formulation development and recent advances. So we understand now that there is a great potential in herbal formula, formulations that are considered to be safe, effective, convenient and economic drug delivery systems. The second thing that we have discussed that we have that have, we have been able to understand is that these formulations that are prepared for herbal drugs they tend to increase the availability of these drugs into the system into the human body. Besides they also increase the therapeutic effect of herbal drugs. So the number third that we can say about these herbal formulations is that the formulations of these herbal products increases their stability, efficacy and shelf life. So because these herbal drugs they are usually considered to be less effective, less stable with a short life cycle but when they are incorporated in uh, proper formulation dosage forms they tend to increase their efficacy, stability and shelf life. So we also see its future like as and when there will be advancements in the equipment and materials that are related to the formulation of herbal drugs, more and more drugs are going to be formulated as herbal drug formulations. There is also a need that there should be some plant specific developments of with respect to formulations. 
What I mean by this is that there should be the concepts of, as we see, like phytosomes we discussed in this module. There should also be some of those advancements with respect to composite extract formulations. So with this, uh, I find that these herbal formulations at this time, the studies related to herbal formulations, they are mostly exploratory at this time, but they need to be much more advanced with the advancements in the material and equipment. Thank you.